Yo, what's up fam? And today we're delving deep into the heart of hip hop, where the beats are tight, but the mysteries run even deeper. Buckle up, cause we're about to uncover the conspiracy theories surrounding the untimely death of Tupac's right-hand man, Big Psych. Before we journey into the rabbit hole, let's take a minute to honor the legacy of Big Psych. From thug life to the outlaws, he laid down tracks that still echo through the streets. But as we know, in the world of hip hop, legends sometimes leave us with more questions than answers. Uh, this is what I learned. This is okay. what I really learned about life. Don't matter if you're a crip or a blood, see? It's us against the system. I'm, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you this about them niggas over there was at death row, because I was over there with them. Them niggas let my nigga get killed. They let my nigga get shot up, so fuck them. That's on the real. If you really want to know the truth, and then they go out and write books and, uh, come on, man, knock it off, man. Come on, knock it off, man. I'm going to keep it one hundred. I'm going to say this, Fuck though. Them. For me, me personally, and straight up. Let me, let me say one. Go ahead, And, and he should have never, never, ever, and this goes out to all the rappers, never, ever let somebody protect you. You let your own folks protect you. Never leave it up to somebody because the police ain't never got practice shot at. Feel what I'm saying? We got practice shot at all the time in the hood. So we know what's gonna go down. And if you know the situation, you can already see it coming. Police, all they do is roll around and take us to jail. They don't know how the hood pop off. They don't live there. So never let the police protect you. All the rappers, never let them protect you. Never. On December 5th, 2016, Big Psych was found dead at his home in Hawthorne, California. The official story, natural causes. But hold up, hip hop heads ain't buying it that easy. The streets talk and they're saying there's more to the story. Here's where it gets interesting. The online world exploded with theories. Some fans argue that mention popular theories, for example, foul play, cover-ups. Are these just wild speculations or is there something the world ain't being told? As we dig deeper, we stumble upon unanswered questions. Reports say, mention any unclear information. It's like trying to piece together a puzzle with missing pieces. What's the real story? Big Psych's departure wasn't just a loss. It sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community. Artists, fans, and the streets felt the void. But with the mystery shrouding his death, it's become more than just a farewell. It's a quest for truth. Time to talk conspiracy. Some believe, mentioned popular conspiracy theories, for example, involvement of certain figures. Now, whether you think it's fact or fiction, these theories have become a part of Big Sykes' legacy. Let's bring in the experts. What do they say about the conspiracy theories? Are we just connecting dots that ain't there? Or is there something brewing beneath the surface? It's time to get some insight. I don't remember seeing Big Psych around. I think the last time was the end of March. When Big Psych uh, made his exit. Y'all gotta remember, man. Record business don't get, you don't get paid for 180 days which is six months after something dropped. Big Psych was getting like $1,500, $2,000 a month from death row. Everybody always said, yeah, oh, uh, Suge didn't pay. <laughs> uh, Tupac didn't pay you. Suge paid you. Yeah, yeah, you stupid motherfucker. That's how everybody got paid around death row. By, by Suge Knight and death row. By death row accounts. Now, let's dive deeper into some of the prevailing theories. We'll explore mention specific theories and break down the evidence, separating fact from fiction. Get ready for a wild ride. Big Psych, like, guess he's tired of asking Tupac. And he comes to Suge. Tell Suge, man, I wanna sign directly to you. I, I need $50,000, I'll, I'll do a deal with you for $50,000, I'll sign with you right now. My publishing, my, you know, whatever. You know, sure. I don't know anything about sure. I ain't learned anything about sure from Reggie Wright. Sure have bitch tendencies, my nigga. But he plays niggas against niggas, homies against homies for a, for a hobby. <laughs> for fun, for he loves that shit, divide and conquer bullshit. You know, man, you know, can I talk to you, me and you one-on-one? -on -one? Anyway, 
my nigga go back and tell Tupac the conversation him with Big Psych have. Tupac taking this disrespectful. I'm pissed. Y'all show me a picture, tell me a record, or anything that was recorded after March 31st of 1996 was Big Psych. So that's why Big Psych wasn't around. All right. As we wrap this up, one thing's for sure. Big Psych's legacy lives on. The streets might talk, but sometimes the whispers become part of the rhythm. Drop your thoughts in the comments, fam. Until next time, keep it real. It's your name.